The 10 finalists of the African Innovation Foundation Innovation Prize for Africa 2014 have been announced according to this report from Ventures Africa. The innovators were selected out of 700 applications from 42 countries for being able to properly represent Africans' potential to address the challenges that are unique to the continent. The parameters that will be used in picking the best innovation are marketability, scalability, social impact, clear business potential and originality, and the winner will receive $100,000. A runner-up for the innovation with the best commercial potential will receive $25,000 and the innovation with the highest social impact will also receive a prize of $25,000. We're told that the final winners will be announced on the 5th of May at an awards ceremony in Abuja in Nigeria. Some of the top 10 innovators are Ashley Uis from South Africa with the creation of a screening tool to measure pupil response to light emissions. Daniel Gitao Tairu from Kenya created a domestic waste biogas system. And Joshua Okelo, also from Kenya, created a low-cost mobile phone-based antenatal diagnosis kit called Winsinga. Suleiman Bolarinde Famro from Nigeria made the Farm King mobile multi-crop processor, while Lugu Minsob from Togo made the Fufu Mix, an electrical device designed to replace the mortar and pestles used in preparing the popular West African dish Fufu. The other people in the top 10 are Elise Russell Cloet, Dr. Nicolas Dunias, and Venus Pillay, all from South Africa, Maman Abdukane from Niger, and Meles Temesgen from Ethiopia. Next, from the Zambezian, South Africa has signed an anti poaching agreement with neighboring Mozambique as part of its fight against rhino poaching. Mozambique is a major transit route for rhino horn traffic to Asia as it shares a long border with South Africa's Kruger National Park, which is particularly affected by the poaching. The Kruger National Park is roughly the size of Israel and houses most of South Africa's rhino population. Environmental Affairs Minister Edna Molewa is quoted as stating that the agreement entails us working together with Mozambique to eradicate rhino poaching so that Mozambique is not used as a transit country. The agreement will see both countries sharing intelligence and jointly developing anti-poaching technology and education programs. Mozambique is already focusing on poaching, with a law that imposes penalties of up to 12 years on anybody convicted on rhino poaching. South Africa, however, might possibly be thinking about legalizing the rhino horn trade by allowing the sale of horns from rhinos that have died from natural causes. Edna Molewa is quoted as saying, We do think that it could. Just taking it from the lessons we have learned from ivory. We did an ivory once of sale, and elephant poaching has not been a problem since. Kenya's National Treasury has announced that it is in final stages of organizing a comprehensive training for suppliers to prepare them for the new Integrated Financial Management Information System Procure to Pay program. The new system will see both national and countywide public procurement processes done online with the intention of increasing transparency across the board and blocking financial leaks in the public procurement process. To aid the process, the Kenyan government has adopted the UN Standard Products and Services Code that will create and give a supply item a code for indicative pricing. It is also warned that suppliers not registered with the system by July will be locked out of public sector contracts. <laughs> 